So she's reactive to people and dogs? No, mainly dogs. Oh, okay. I thought I had it yep. written as people. She's very uncertain, isn't she? Yeah, she really is. The, um, the thing with the people is, because I only walk her in when it's dark, so sometimes she... she oh, she will. Well, we are. We're more reactive, yeah. aren't we, when we're yeah. out. We've got a dog uh, coming up, so I'm just going to see what this one does. What's she called? Wanda. Wanda. <laughs> She's very anxious. Now this, I wouldn't do this with her because any insecurities you're nurturing, so we don't want to nurture the insecurities. Yeah, this know. dog's probably going to bark or lunge or do something as you come okay. through. <laughs> oh, <laughs> two girls. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> I know. Thank you. So now just walk her down. She did well there, she didn't bat an eyelid. She's just made me fix me a <laughs> They all do that when they come here. <laughs> but look at a low carriage now. See how low she's carrying herself. That's lack of confidence, that. So she walks, she walks beautifully then, doesn't she? The first three years of her life, she was a show dog. Ah. But she's never walked. Yeah. He only took them to a field once a week. But because she walks, because normally I would be saying no harness, not that that leads the wrong lead, you don't put a dog in a harness, but because she walks beautifully, then you can have all this gear on her. Well, I, I, you just have to, I'll see what she does on sight of a dog, because she didn't react to that dog, so. Yeah, I, I don't know what to, like I say, we've had her on just a normal collar, we've had her on that, and then I've got her this because she slipped that. Yeah, so it's it, when they slip something, it's fitted incorrectly, yeah. basically. Yeah. So when you see people with dogs, um, always stop a good distance like this or more to make sure they get them on the lead. He has, he's put them all on. So you go to this side. Now you see how, see how she's now in front and starting to apply a bit of tension. She's not done that the whole little trip we've done. So this is where, if you can, hold her on the handle bit there, no, on the lead. Is there a handle bit in that lead? No. Is there not? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. So hold that. But now you see the stance, the way she's pulling. No. So this is where your harness gives you no control. And this is completely different mannerism to how she has been. Look at that. So that, wow, that excites you. So that was just passing three dogs. But as quick as she goes into it, she comes back out of it. Yeah. So that gets her really excited. And yet the whole walk, that's the only time I've seen her do anything, the whole walk she's plodded like a little old deer at the side of you. Sight of dogs, she's like, woohoo, I've come alive. Don't you? You do, don't you? So, just for that, the harness and the lead that are on her, for, for walking like we are now, absolutely no issue with she walks beautifully. But for how she is with dogs, she's going to be better on a collar yep. and a non bungee lead. But, like I said, there's that, that handle yeah. there, so I mean, yeah. you can keep that lead and just hold that handle. She's big enough to, to be able to put your hand in that. I see now that perked her up a bit. There's another four here. Oh, okay. So, well, let's try this. So, for the video, all we've done, we've put her on a martingale collar, a buckled martingale collar, because we've seen a reaction and there's, um, how many dogs? Four up here. So there's some more dogs up here, so I want to see what the difference is on the collar. So you're going to hold this handle here, yep. keep oh. it nice and loose, no pressure on the neck, unless you have to. You see, before what she did, she speeded up. So as soon as she speeds up, you're going to give a quick flick, two seconds up, and then relax it and they're turning going. So we can still use it anyway because she can get used to the feeling. So again, make sure she doesn't get onto this bungee part because if she runs in front, the yeah. bungee is going to take away the corrections that she'll need. So we want her to stay at your side, which is where she's been. She wouldn't be here now. She'd be up. Yeah. Well, this is why I say we can still use them. So these dogs are walking away from us, which is good. It helps her build the confidence. And so we're a good, what, 50 foot or more behind these dogs. So she's learning and she can use her nose to get the scent without having to give all the drama. And because they're facing away from her, they're less challenging to her. Yeah, I've never seen a boxer so subdued. <laughs> it's just not boxing, is it? No, that's something. 